it's very possible that stability margins indicate robustness, but the closed loop system is nearly unstable. This video covers one way in how stability margins can be misleading. Our feedback loop, controller K, our disturbance model in between the controller and the plant, In the previous videos, we looked at the gain margin and the phase margin. In the previous video in particular, we derived gain margin by setting theta equal to zero and determining the value of K such that the phaser at minus 180 degrees touched the critical point. Scaling the loop gain by the value K star expands the original loop gain LU about the origin. In the second case, we looked at theta star, that is rotating the loop gain about the origin by a certain amount so that the phaser that's on the unit disk is rotated to the critical point at minus one. That would create a loop gain that looks something like that, where we set the gain k equal to one, since we're looking at pure rotation here. That leads to the phase margin theta star. In these examples, the form of the loop gain drawn is such that k star and theta star actually give reasonable measures of robustness. That is, they're true to the actual distance of the loop gain away from the critical point. But the loop gain is not always shaped as it's drawn in these examples. Consider this form of a loop gain. LU at minus 180 degrees is small, so the K star gain margin will be fairly large. And the phase margin is, by inspection, at least 60 degrees. But inside of the unit disk about the origin, the loop cane comes very close to the critical point. Let's just consider a, a phaser somewhere in that bulge that's close to the critical point. If we rotate that phaser by theta prime and then scale it by k prime, we can make that phaser also touch the critical point where we started with the loop gain and then rotated it to the real axis, and then scaled that phaser finally by a value k prime. We caused instability here with the gain and the phase well below the gain and phase margins. And so the key takeaway is that margins are not preserved that is, stability margins, gain and phase margins, are not preserved when gain and phase disturbances are simultaneous, which is a very realistic situation. So a new measure of nearness to instability or measure of robustness is needed that considers simultaneous gain and phase disturbance. That's a topic for the next video.